hi guys i'm back again today i'll show you how we can create any design for our post this can be the normal post or any custom post this is the format we will try to achieve as you can see this is not any default wordpress layout and this is another example we will create these two example today previously i made a video about custom post loop please do check that out we will use the same technique in this video as well so to, to make this first of all we need to add a plugin so go to plugin add new and search for elementor custom skin this is the plugin elementor custom skin install and activate and in this blog all page i have inserted the post widget in here as you can see this is the default post widget and i have some post as well and i set this post column to two columns and post per page to four you can set it whatever you like so this is our default blog page setting so what we do, need to do next is we need to go to this template theme builder and you will see a new tab called loop click this loop click add new loop in here give it the a name i'm calling it post loop one and click create template we'll close this dialog box in here we'll we'll create the post design how it should look in our post loop so first of all we need to add a featured image and then we need to create two column one for this author and one for the post details let's first take a section so this is the our section and make it full column full width and column gap to no gap and then drag the image widget in here and choose the custom size if you want to custom size i am giving it to 500 to 250 click apply and then make this image to click the dynamic and choose featured image to make it a call the featured image dyna automatically so this will be our featured image click this little setting icon and go to the preview setting and in here choose post and search for any paste so that we can preview what we are doing apply so for some reason the featured image is not showing let's go to this next section so our next section will be these two column so let's take another section in here just under the image and make it full width and for the first column let's give it width of 30. in this design as you can see we have some margin on from the left so select this section go to the margin uh, or padding from the left to make it 30 and for this column let's add a border so select this column go to this style border make it solid 3 pixel and the, for the color i'm choosing it e8 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 okay so this will be our border and under this we will have the author image so let's check take the image widget again let's make it uh, like this thumbnail size and click the dynamic and go scroll to the author section and choose author profile picture and from on the style tab make choose the for the width choose pixel and give it to 64 pixel let's align it to the left section and let's go to the style tab and give it a radius of 100 pixel to make it circle okay then we need to move it to the up like this one so let's move this to top go to the margin and give it a negative margin of maybe 50 pixel okay and we also need to give the entire section a top boost so select this bottom section go to this 
top and give it a negative margin like that and let's add select this column that is holding the author image and give it a white background to white click publish add condition you can choose enter site or archive as well so i am choosing enter site okay so now our author image is added and then we need to add this posted by and this comment section so to add post by we have to go to this author section we need to search here for post and you will see a widget called post info so drag it just below this author and in here you can see we have all the info so we don't need this tree we just need the author so for author for author we need to insert this post by before this author name so post by author name and we need to hide for the icon we choose none post by author is now selected and we can go to this style tab go to this text and insert the color like this one or the color you want so this is our post by and then we need to add the comment section so we can just duplicate this instead of author choose type comments in here we can choose comments in here we can type comments and as you can see comments no comments but in here we have comments equal zero so let's make it no comments to something custom so choose this custom format in no comment we need to type zero for the one com comment we need to type one okay it's still showing no comments so under zero let's give it a space it will refresh okay so now it is working so this is comment if the comment there is no comment it will show zero and if there is one comment it will show comment and for the multiple comment we just want to show the number not these comments after it so we just insert percentage s so it will show the number only and we need to add the icon in here so let's add an icon default and go to the style section change the text color like this one and the icon color to like uh, this type of red ff2929 now our icon is added and you can also see we have a little bit padding around this tab so let's add, add some maybe 20 pixel padding so this is our padding so now our left section is almost ready let's work on the right section we can refresh this if so now our featured image is showing as you can see it's very small so choose this featured image and go to style and make this with 100 percent so as you can see it's looking quite good so let's move this author image a little bit top like this okay now it is looking good after that we need to add this right hand section as you can see we have the date we have the title and this text so to add that we need to first add a little bit padding from this left so select this column go to this advance and from the left add a padding of maybe 20 or 30 20 and then in here we need to add the date so grab this heading widget in here and i think we need some add we need some padding in the top section so select the column and go to the padding and give it a maybe 60 no 60 is too much 40 okay nice 40 is good so 40 is the padding and let's style this dead field so it will be the dead field so first of all we need to go to style change the text color to ff2929 font size let's make it 12 or maybe 13 and transform to uppercase maybe and now it is okay so let's make it a post it so go to this content and click the dynamic and make it post date as you can see the date is now showing 
that's perfect so let's add this title post title in here so just grab this title tag format this and as you can see there is a bit more gap between this widget so click this column and make it 10 pixel in widget space go to this title and change the color like this maybe font width to 4 500 500 and go to the content tab <laughs> click dynamic and choose post title so now as you can see the post title is showing so under beneath that we need to show this post summary in here so grab the text widget in here the text to editor widget and i think we need a little bit space to, to the bottom of this div of this column so let's add a 10 pixel bottom padding and this select the text editor and click the dynamic and choose post summary as you can see the post summary is not showing is now so showing so click this post summary and choose the length to like a 15 15 character uh, 15 word for this post summary click update so now as you can see our design is almost perfect it's not near yeah, perfect as this one but it's almost, almost similar so let's make it a little bit top maybe and give it a top padding like 50 okay now it's looking good so our design is complete how we can show make it as a design, default design for our blog post so this is our blog page so if we refresh our page as you can see it's exactly the same so how we can choose the skin that we just created so click this post widget and in the layout skin section as you can see we have classic cards and we have also have custom so choose custom and in here and select the template choose the template we just created so let's say this 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 is the one we have just created okay so let's make the column to two column as you can see our post is now adapting the skin just we have just created so this is our custom design so let's design this one as well so how we can do that this is exactly the same so go to this so go to this theme builder let me just delete the trash And go to this loop and add new let's make it post loop 2 so in our design you can see we, if you hover over to the post area it's now there is a slight zooming effect this is very easy so close this one and we need to add the section let's make it full width and to make it like that we need the pro widget called call to action so this is our call to action drag it in here and from here choose cover so as you can see this is our design so the title and all the text are aligned to the left so let's make the text aligned to the left so go to style alignment left vertical position maybe bottom side bottom okay so now it's looking good maybe middle it will be good middle okay it's nice and let's add a overlay color background overlay make it black and reduce the opacity you can change the color and button color as well so this is our design you can go to the box area and mini increase the minimum height a little bit okay maybe 280 380 now it's perfect and go to this content area now we need to make this each section dynamic so that it automatically pulls the post content so for the background image in here click the dynamic choose featured image you can change the size but like this okay and go to the content in title click the dynamic choose post title for content then click the dynamic choose post summary 
you can increase the summary word count from here post button text change it to read more and click the link click the dynamic just before the link and choose post url and click publish enter sites and close now if we refresh our blog page so this was our first one let's duplicate this section and for this post widget we need to choose the template to loop 2 as you can see this is our loop 2 the background this is the featured image and the title and the contents so this is how you can create any type of design with this little plugin and with elementor so you are no longer bounded for any custom design so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys